You might suspect that black hole research is solely the realm of the professionals, but in fact amateur astronomers are playing their part too. Tonight I'm at Rutland Water Nature Reserve and I'm joined by an old friend of the show and a member of the British Astronomical Association, Dr Paul Abel. So Paul, thank you for joining me here in this rather wonderful location. It's a bit cloudy tonight though, Pete. Not terribly good. No, we didn't get any luck there. So how can amateurs actually contribute to black hole science? Well, it actually starts out with the British Astronomical Association, which was founded in the 1890s, and they have a variable star section, uh, which is concerned with collecting observations of stars whose light appears to vary. Okay. But not all of those things are stars. Some of them are black holes. In particular, we have the beautiful system OJ287, which is a binary black hole system, so very exciting. A binary black hole system consists of two black holes in close orbit around each other. And it's one of these systems that the BAA is asking amateur astronomers to observe. Now, a very common question that's asked when you want to observe a black hole is, how on earth can you observe it? It's black, for goodness sake. <laughs> that's right, and they don't emit any light. And the answer to that is, it's the immediate environment of the primary black hole that's the answer here. Okay. There is an accretion disk that's orbiting in the black hole, so this is hot gas and dust that's circling around. Right. And what happens is, the secondary black hole punches through this material, and as it does that, it destabilizes this accretion disk and causes it to brighten up enormously, and that's what we're actually observing. Surfing. If you're interested in joining the BAA survey, then you'll find OJ287 in the constellation of Cancer. It's three and a half billion light years away and consequently rather faint. To find it, locate the two stars, Acellus Australis and Acellus Borealis, just by the Beehive Cluster, Messier 44. Form an equilateral triangle pointing away from the Beehive Cluster and OJ287 is right at the tip. You'll find all the information on how to take part in the survey online. This is from the BAA website. This is a finder chart. Um, you can go to the website and download it. Yeah, it right. shows not only the location of OJ287, yeah. but the comparison stars of fixed magnitude. And what you do is you compare the brightness that you can see of OJ287 with these standard stars and make your magnitude estimate. Um, if you go on the website, it gives you tutorials how to actually make magnitude oh, okay. estimates. So how often would you make those observations to get meaningful data? I think every clear night. And then what you can do is we've got the magnitude plots on a graph here, and these are all individual amateur obser observations which generate this light curve. Is this actually real data? Yes, absolutely. Wow. And this is a way of amateurs to contribute to black hole science, and I think it's very exciting what was once considered sort of very esoterical, strange astrophysical objects. Now we can study them from your own back garden. Isn't that wonderful? That's fantastic. So what have we learned so far about this system? Well, we've learned quite a bit already. So things about the accretion disk and about how the black holes orbit each other. Uh, but I think the most useful thing from our point of view is it allows us to predict future events. Okay. So we had brightenings in 2005 and 2007. Yeah. And the next big one, the next big disk event is on the 31st of July. Okay. But unfortunately, <laughs> the sun is in almost in the constellation of Cancer. So it's in conjunction, going to be very difficult to observe. But the Spitzer telescope, which is quite a distance away from Earth, will be observing the event. The then. Spitzer will fill in the gap which we can't see. That's right, and, okay. but amateurs will then contribute observations before and afterwards. With the Spitzer data, we can then piece together the whole narrative of this system and provide an overall symphony of observations, Pete. Very poetic. <laughs> Thanks so much, Paul. Thank you, Pete.